Dan, we filed a Freedom of Information request with the BC Lottery Corporation, and the records we obtained showed that between 2010 and 2014, BCLC awarded more than half a million dollars in bonuses to its own investigators, partially for a job well done and partially tied to BCLC reaching financial targets, which included its take of casino profits. Those bonuses paid as this was happening on their watch. A tidal wave of suspicious transactions, suspected dirty money, the proceeds of crime, being laundered through BC casinos. CBC News exposed a lot of this at the time, and in June, an independent BC government report confirmed that at least $100 million in dirty money had flowed through casinos over the past decade, and that's a very conservative estimate. In the middle of that, the bonuses to BCLC investigators and their managers ranged as high as 9.6%. For instance, in one case, the Lottery Corporation's manager of casino security and surveillance received a bonus of almost $9,300 on top of his $103,000 a year salary. Eric, the BCLC was supposed to be overseeing casino operations, but its investigators and managers were getting bonuses linked to casino profits. What kind of concerns does that raise? Well, the province's Gaming Policy Enforcement Branch has the parallel job of regulating casinos, and the former senior director of investigations there finds paying bonuses to investigators troubling. Here's Joe Schalk. The perception might be the more suspicious currency that it comes in or is allowed to come in, maybe the higher bonuses. So basically concern over a potential conflict of interest. Now, the B.C. Lottery Corporation stopped its practice of awarding bonuses to its investigators and managers in 2014 due to a government policy change ending bonuses for all employees. Dan? Eric Rankin, thanks very much.